Hey guys, welcome back. And I make lots of mommy videos, lifestyle content, haul videos to my <laughs> my kids, as well as what's her dinner videos, cook with me, shop with me, decorate with me, lots of plus size fashion and beauty. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post. And if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. I'm just like Ouch. Okay, today's video is an exciting one. It is the start of my back to school series. Normally every year I just do one video and it's my back to school haul where I show you um, the goodies that my girls have for their back to school year. But this year is a little bit different because everything is different, isn't it? So um, we originally were going back to school like normal, um, but of course that kind of went up in the air and things have changed. So if you have never seen me before or you don't um, know how many kids I have. I have two kids. My oldest is Olive and she's five and my youngest is Eleanor and she is three. Um, this is Ollie's kindergarten year that she was supposed to go into and Eleanor was supposed to start preschool this year. So two big years for both of them. Eleanor was so looking to go into school like big sister and Ollie was so looking forward to kindergarten. So it's big years for them um, and I know they're still so young and they still have a lot of school ahead of them but it was still disappointing to have to kind of change our plans. So in Texas, at least in the district that we're at, we were allowed to either virtual learn or in-person learn. We chose virtual learning because of, at first I was pregnant, unfortunately that didn't last. Um, and my mom is extremely high risk. She is on lifetime chemo, so she's immune um, compromised and she's over 65. So it just wasn't going to be worth it not being able to see her the whole time that the girls were in school and especially because school is going to be so different already um, and not what they have been planning for and imagining um, so I just thought we're going to make it as exciting as we can and we're going to do it at home so what we decided to do was we are going to create a classroom at my mom's house so we feel like we're still going to school um, we're leaving our home we're not home every single day we're going to school and we are creating a little classroom for the both of them so they're each other's classmates so However, they're both obviously different ages and learning different things. I will be teaching Eleanor preschool. Um, my mom and I used to have a preschool. We used to run our own home preschool, home daycare slash preschool. Um, and I would take care of the older kiddos and she would focus on infants. And so I'm already really familiar with that age, really comfortable with that age, comfortable with curriculum and teaching. Um, and so I actually just got a whole bunch of new stuff for that and have kind of revamped my curriculum and stuff like that. We took a number of years off um, after my mom got diagnosed with cancer and we just have had a break. I'm going to stay at home mom and she has been retired. <laughs> and so um, I had to kind of refresh everything from the stuff that we have got rid of and stuff. And so that is what this video is. So these items are great for homeschool. They're great for preschool, pre-K. They are great for in-person teaching. They are great for kindergartners. So everything I will share um, with links down below. Pretty much everything I got from Amazon um, for a really great deal. Um, the couple things I didn't, I will try to make sure I link. And um, so this video is gonna be basically just the supplies. So I will include a little bit of the actual kind of school supply items that I've already gotten. Um, and then these are more of the activities, um, our centers, our independent activities, um, some organizational things, crafts, stuff like that. And my next video is going to be the big classroom reveal. We're gonna decorate it together, get it all ready. The girls have no idea. They have. I'm so excited to share it with them. So it'll be a big surprise for them as well and a big surprise for you guys. And then the last video will be my traditional back to school haul, which I share with you back to school clothing, their backpacks, fun school supplies, stuff like that. Um, that will be my last video. So for those of you who are looking specifically for that one, that one's also coming too. But now we have our big back to school series. So I'm just gonna jump in and start. I Hopefully I answered everything. I know it was probably a long intro, but I just wanted to make sure I covered all of my bases. So I'm just gonna start with all of this stuff. There's no rhyme or reason really to any of this. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna start with a couple of things that I did pick up at Target from the dollar spot. Um, and I think they're just, it's, they 
they're so good. I love Target and their dollar spot. I haven't been able to go um, for a bit, so this is the first time. And a lot of stuff was already picked over, but I did find some good things. Um, I love their sticker books that are normally only a dollar, and they didn't have a whole lot right now, but I do love the seasonal ones that they do bring out. And so I got this one. It just has a bunch of crayons and pencils, and I thought it was really cute for the girls, um, as well as me, because I do like to plan with stickers. So um, I do have my little share come in for my own supplies. Um, but the girls, I also let them use it for rewards as well as for creating and decorating they just love stickers um, I got these little name plates I just think that they were really cute I already got a pack at Dollar Tree but I loved these I just couldn't pick I just saw, saw these and they just made me happy so I got these only a dollar and there's 30 of them in there um, and then of course these little dry erase pockets these are great um, these will be really great for Eleanor because she's learning to write her name and Ollie for practicing as well I got two colors pink and green, but they had a bunch of different ones They already have some fun things to test and they're double-sided so they can practice um, But I will probably just insert you know my own worksheets in there I also found this and I couldn't say no This is a dry erase easel, but it looks like a little piece of notebook paper I thought it was super cute. I love that it's an easel so I can write something fun on it or the girls can use it to color and doodle or to actually use it for learning purposes um, and then the last thing I got I think out wise that isn't include that isn't from Amazon was this bad boy um, this is from Walmart it's from the pinning gear line this is just a book bin um, Target does have a bunch of these in different colors as well I just like this one from Walmart um, I need to get another one. I should have gotten two. This will be great for I'm my planner and my planning stickers and stuff like that. But I also want to get the girls one. So they have for their stickers, construction paper, whatever they need. It'll just be easily accessible and not just like flying everywhere. Okay, like I said, I already had um, basically my own curriculum that I had picked and prodded and pulled, prodded, picked and pulled from just different years of working um, in preschools. And doing pre-k and stuff like that and so i kind of already had my own curriculum set but i decided to kind of revamp it this year and curriculum curriculum if you don't know can be incredibly expensive to buy excuse me but i found this one off of amazon and it was preschool palace and it had 910 printable pages and it is a whole entire pre-k preschool curriculum it's for ages three to five this was really really great I highly re recommend this. This was under $20 um, and it has letters, phonics, numbers, shapes, colors, concepts, um, sensory activities, fine motor skills, arts and crafts, movement games, just a ton and ton of different stuff. So this is really, really great if you are a stay-at-home mama or if you are going to start homeschooling or if you are, um, you know, have a home daycare or whatnot, the, this is a really, really great option and it's inexpensive. Um, the only thing it will cost would be to print things after this. Um, and it's just easy, pop it in your computer and a bunch of PDF stuff come up, comes up. It takes you day by day lesson plans. So I like to pull things from this and do my own. Um, I've already written two weeks of lesson plans um, for Eleanor. Obviously, Ollie will be doing kindergarten virtually with her teacher, um, but Eleanor, won't be, so I'm uh, writing her lesson plans and stuff like that. Um, but if you didn't like writing lesson plans, if you're totally new to this, um, this gives you literally day-by-day -day lesson plans, totally schedules, breaks everything down. Um, it's really, really good. And there's two 10-month preschool programs in this. Okay, so this I'm gonna share with you. This is Brick 45 Safe Magnetic Power. So um, my girls have a bunch of magnet tiles already. We love the Picasso brand. Um, and we have a bunch of them. They love them. They've played with them for years now and they still enjoy them. I thought um, instead of adding to the magnet tiles, I decided to try something a little bit different. These are just like little blocks. I don't know, like links almost. I don't really know how to describe these, but I just thought they were different, a little different way to learn how to balance. Magnet tiles are a really great STEM activity. Um, and I knew that they would love these. They come in a lot higher counts. This is only 45, but I wanted to see how they liked it before I got like a big pack. Um, but I think that they will really like these and they can intermix with the magnet tiles. Um, and it says ages three to adults. So it's something that I think will be really fun for all of us to use and it's just a really great activity um, and I'm excited for them to use this. I don't think this was very expensive either. So this is a really great um, gift item too. A lot of these things would be perfect for gifts for the holidays coming up. So if you're not necessarily looking for uh, school things, these would still be great for the holidays, you know? The next thing is another really good item. Um, 
for a gift and it is Melissa and Doug's number maze. These always makes me think of doctor's offices. I love Melissa and Doug. I actually did see a number of these like little type of wooden mazes um, at Target, like I saw it online, I didn't see it actually in person um, in my Target, otherwise I would have gotten a couple, but I do know that they had some in the dollar section. So check your local Target. Um, but these are great because this works for hand-eye coordination as well as just using her little brain to work through mazes and counting. Of course, I mean, each one's different, so I may not be counting. I, I think one at Target was like color sorting, color sorting and stuff like that. But I know both girls would love it. You just take the apple with a little magnet at one and drag it over and do the counting or just run through the maze. This is for ages three plus. And I think both girls will really like this and enjoy this. I also don't think this was super expensive. I do remember... I do think they had a number of different ones. So, once again, a really great gift. And if you have a lot of Melissa and Doug wooden puzzles or just wooden puzzles in general and you have like the rack to go on it to keep the puzzles, this would go straight and perfectly in it as well. And of course, you can't lose the balls because everything is all packed in. So, the next thing I got isn't um, new to me. I actually got this around Easter time, but I want to share it with you guys and because I will be using it during school. Um, but it is basically like a little sensory activity board. Uh, I know that a lot of people make these, but you can buy them. <laughs> um, and I got this off of Amazon, like everything else. Uh, but this is really great if you have a little one who struggles with just fine motor skills, but also being able to do things like unbuttoning and buckling pants. Um, doing stuff by themselves. I know a lot of preschools, at least the ones that my girls were going to or went to, they had to be able to button, unbutton, unbutton zip, unzip, do all those things um, from themselves, like go to the bathroom and be able to pull up pans, unbutton pants, zip and do, do all that um, because there was just a lot of kids and not as many teachers. And so that was something they had to learn. Um, and this is a really great option for that if you are working with your little one about that. Um, or if you have one, a little kid who really likes to work with their hands or a little one who's on the spectrum. I think this would be really great for that. It's a um, wonderful quiet activity. The back is just ABCs to practice with. It does come with this little strap that a lot of people use it for to go on the back of a car. So if you have like a board and buster on the car for a nice quiet activity, there's a bunch of just buckling. Um, Velcro, like I said, snapping the little buttons, the zipper, uh, working to tie your shoes, stuff like that, little toggles. Um, this will be really, really great for Eleanor to really work on. Olive still, Olive can do, I think, pretty much all of this besides the more intense buttons and the, she's doing good on tying her shoes. Um, but everything else she has mastered. So this is really good if you have a little one who's struggling with their grasp. The next thing I have are these Counting Bears. This is by Play Act, I think. Um, and Counting Bears are great anyway. You can just buy a whole tub of Counting Bears and use them for counting, use them for color sorting, use them for um, play, sensory play. I mean, there's so many different things you could do. But these are great because there's a bunch of different activities you can do with this one. Now, this is the thing that Eleanor was most excited about. I unboxed this stuff in front of them and she freaked out. She was so excited about this. But then again, they look like a bunch of her little figures, so that's probably why. But they're just a bunch of different colored bears and they have their little honey pots and on the honey pots are shapes. Um, there's three little dice in here, die. There's ones that are regular with the little dots for um, numbers and then there's the ones with shapes and one with the color. So you can use color sorting, you can do it by shapes, you can do it by numbers, you can do it just with your hands or they do have a little um, pincher little guy in here, which is great for uh, fine motor skills. This is, works on the visual, tactile, math, and color skills. And this is three plus. This is a really, really good kit. They had a bunch of different ones on Amazon. So if they don't have this one or this isn't the one you want, they have a ton of different ones. Um, and I know she's gonna be, she's gonna probably try to steal the bear. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her. <laughs> but um, I think this is a really, really awesome kit to have. And I love that there's a lot more than just the bears. Um, there's more activities to do based on shape, based on color, based on um, counting and numbers. So really good one. All right, I have a ton from a learning resource. Um, if you guys don't know, I love this brand. I've showed them a lot of times in my Christmas videos because they make wonderful quality toys, sensory toys, uh, pretend play toys, um, educational toys. They're really, really great. I think that they're personally better than Melissa and Doug. I really, really like them. Um, I've never been disappointed. <laughs> so this is the Alphabet Acorns. I actually took them out to make sure that everything was all um, where it was supposed to be and all of the shapes and I just 
how to do quality check, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, but they are basically alphabet acorns and each inside each acorn there is a corresponding object that has begins the letter of the alphabet. So obviously A for apple. And under the lid is the lowercase and the um, on the actual acorn is the uppercase letter. And these are great for them to work on their letter recognition um, and with lowercase and uppercase letters. Um, and this is something once again that like the bears I'm gonna have to keep. Like I will use this for circle time or if I'm watching it with her, I can't let her just do this by herself because she once again will be pit pocketing all the little figures because that is what she does figures are her life so um but this is ages three and up definitely for somebody who doesn't put little things in their mouth still um but i'm really excited i think they're so gosh darn cute and um they are fun to use they're that soft rubber and so it feels really nice on the hands just good tactile things um and all of course the letters are in here and the other thing that i really liked about it is they could stack them and create words so I thought that was really good. They do have another set that's like little cans and in the cans are little pictures, like multiple different little, I guess like wooden pictures or something like that um, with objects on them. But I just thought this was a better thing and I really liked it. Okay, this next thing is a uh, STEM activity and I actually thought these were much bigger. I remember these things being like the size of my palm and so when I got them, I was quite shocked. It makes sense why they were so cheap. But I still am excited, I think they're great. But they're little clip connects. Um, and there's just a giant box of them in here. Um, but basically, if you remember these little shapes, the ones we used to have were, like they had like little divots and lines in each little ball and you would connect to the balls. Do you remember what I'm talking about? That's what I thought they were like size-wise. But when I got them and I opened them up, I was like, what are these? <laughs> like these are definitely still, small enough to put in mouth, so I would watch out for that, but they still are perfect. They still work exactly like they're supposed to. Um, it's a great sim activity. It doesn't take up a lot of space as much as the other ones would have, um, and I know both girls will like it. The only thing I will say is that they are kind of hard to jam in there. Like, you definitely have to kind of work on it. My older one probably won't have a problem, but my younger one may. Um, that may be good for her, though, to really sharpen up her fine motor skills, but that's my only qualm I have about them. Otherwise, I really like them. I think they're really cute and you can really do fun different shapes color sort um i love that it's a stem activity it does come with a little bag to go inside or for to, uh, store them all um but i believe this was like 8.99 it was super inexpensive this is another great gift something that's small and inexpensive but if you have a little builder in your life who really loves to work with their hands and create um like there's like little fishies on this side. No idea what this is, it looks like a dragon maybe. I don't know, they can create whatever and I love the rainbow colors. So this is a good one. Just not as big as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> this next thing is another great STEM activity. Um, they have a bunch of different versions basically of this and they're just by different animals. So there's like a monkey, a frog, a puppy, all of this looks like a kitty cat, but I'm assuming it's supposed to be a chihuahua. But this one's called Puppy Up, the Tipsy Topsy number game. Basically it's just a balance. Um, a little balance scale and you have a corresponding weight the, with that's a number and you find the um, amount of puppies that match that to equalize the scale. Um, I used to love these things when I was a kid. I love the scales to play with. It's such a fun activity. It really helps them work on their math um, and they're super cute. I love how cute this one is. This is not as cute as what I had. Um, but I don't think, this was pretty inexpensive and I can't remember if the re reviews were outstanding or not. Um, so I'm hoping it lasts well. It's probably only two little kids using it. We're not having a full classroom of kids, but I hope it doesn't break. It's my only concern. I haven't unboxed it yet or anything like that, but I don't think it was super expensive. Not that that really matters, but who knows. Um, it's really, really cute. I like the little puppies. And of course, like I said, there's frog versions. Um, monkey versions, turtle versions, bear versions, all sorts of versions. But I first I got this because it was I thought it was a cat, but it's a puppy. But they'll be happy. <laughs> all right, to kind of go along with the letters, here's another thing from Learning Resources. This is the Alpha Pops. Um, these just help uh, match upper and lowercase letters, and you can also do this with help with color ident uh, identification. This is 2 plus, so it's a little bit on the younger range of things, um, but I know that the girls are still going to have a blast with this because they're shaped like popsicles, so they'll probably even use this for pretend play, but of course you just match up the um, uppercase and lowercase letters, and the whole alphabet is obviously there, actually. 
the whole is it yeah yeah okay okay i was gonna say they stopped at m on here and i was like wait is it not there they stopped at m no the whole alphabet is there this next thing is kind of a random thing um it's i think would be a wonderful gift um and be great for road trips or anything like that but it's just it's called story magic dress up dolls travel play set so it's just a magnetic dress up doll set that comes with a little tin um, I got this because the girls really love these and this is a really great quiet time activity I'm looking for quiet things that Eleanor can do independently most of these things are for her independent circle time or center time um, all the other curriculum that I can work on with her be it crafts or if we're working on worksheets or we're working on circle time or sensory things um, that she needs you know somebody to be with, with her during um, I, those are kind of separate these more focus on her independent learning and time that she can do stuff by herself while I'm working with Olive so I got this because I thought one they both will love it but two I thought it was really really cute and it was just sweet and it wasn't something that took up a lot of space but was like a fun activity um, our first week is all about me slash back to school and I just thought it'd be fun to have just a bunch of different girls I love how inclusive it is with race there's a bunch of different little girls they are super cute all different ethnicities I love the inclusivity that it has um, and they're adorable they have like mermaids and princesses and just regular really cute girly little clothes and um, rainbows and kitty cats like in two different scenes it's really adorable inexpensive this would be like I said a great gift and everything is magnetized so it just fits back into here in this little tin and would be great for like a road trip if you're gonna be in the car um, to keep your little one busy but I'm gonna use it for school <laughs> All right, so this next item is another thing from Learning Resources. This is the color section of it. So this one is a giant thing of colors and it looks like a crayon box. It's so cute. Um, I will say this was probably the most expensive item I bought apart from one other thing, which I will talk about at the end. Um, but I think this is around $40, which is kind of expensive for what it is. But I have, used to have a really cheap one of these um, that I think I got from Walmart or something um, and it just broke really fast so I wanted something that was a bit better. But each um, little crayon pops, the lid pops off and there's a whole bag of um, blue items inside. So I will use these during color or center time um, to work on our colors so we'll have a color of the month. So we do color of the month, shape of the month, letter of the month, I think I already said that or letter of the week, color of the month, shape of the month, but for color of the month. So we'll start off with yellow and each new day she can bring out a new item and you know tell me about it and then eventually obviously there's not enough for the whole month but then we'll work through it ask questions stuff like that and i will do these with her if she wants to color sort by herself but once again these are little figures and this is up her alley so i have to keep my eyes on her but um they are really cute i wish these were a bit better they are cardboard that was my only concern that these would get damaged for the price that they were so i just have to be careful but the literally the cutest gosh darn thing like this would be such a fun teacher thing to bring out and talk about the colors like adorable so i'm excited i have that okay these next two things are more like crafts um organizational things so this first thing is a bunch of it's like a painting set so this has finger paint set and it's actually to me i don't know why it's finger paint because they include a ton of like fun brushes and stuff like that which i'll show you in a second there's eight um, bottles of paint in here that are non-toxic and washable um, and i love that it comes in this little case i needed a bunch of new paint i actually will probably order even another set after that because we our paint just dried out and was done we needed to throw it away um, but this comes with a bunch of different stuff it comes with a little bowl for mixing paint it comes with a bunch of cute little different brush heads that have like fun little make me think of like car car wash brushes um, but for creating fun different textures and shapes a little paint palette um so a pack of regular brushes once again another set of like fun brushes these are like rubberized heads ones and then they have a pack of foam brushes foam rollers um, and then there's just a like i said four bottles of paint um, all different colors in here that are non-toxic and washable um, so I'm really excited I think this is a really great set I the only thing that I feel like it's missing is a smock I wish that it had a little kid smock in here that's an easy thing to get but that would be my only thing that I wish that I could have had otherwise I think this is a really great set and if you have a little one who is like a little artist and loves to paint and create this would be such a good little gift to get them um, because it's so much fun and the fact that it's washable is nice um, but Eleanor's so excited to like just 
paint her life away and so is Olive. So um, this is such a good set for that. And then um, last but not least, we have this set. Uh, this is another thing from Learning Resources. This is, um, what is Maker Spaces? Um, this is Create a Space Storage Center. So it's like a Lazy Susan for your school supplies. This is something I actually looked into getting for Olive a long time ago because she has so many different art supplies that she loves to color and create. That is probably one of her favorite pastimes um, still. And so I was gonna get it for her then, but then when we decided to do a classroom, I knew this, this was like the first thing in my cart. Um, but each one will cut, you can take out the little bucket and go to your table. So if she's only using colored pencils, she could take the colored pencil ones out. If she's gonna only cut, she takes some scissors out. If she's using cut and glue, takes both of them out and puts them back. Just really, really great. I love it. This will be perfect um, to just to divvy up all the stuff. And so they both have it easily accessible for both of them. And I'm excited for it. I think it's really cute and it's gonna be going to be helpful um, to keep everything organized and so they know exactly where everything goes. Okay, I believe this is the last item and this is just a Helping Hands Fine Motor, fine motor Tool Set. Um, we had some of these things before that were in a cheaper pack and we've used them for years and they're just yucky and gross and I'm sure long gone by now. Um, so I got a new set, once again, learning resources, um, and these have a, a bunch of different ones. And so there's a little dropper, a little grabber, a scooper, and a squeezer. So it really helps develop the, all of the muscles in their little hands. Eleanor, that's her biggest struggle, is her fine motor skills. Um, and so this is a perfect set for her and for sensory play, for creating, for art, um, to practice, like I said, even with like little uh, teddy bears, they had the little squeezer in there, perfect and inexpensive. This is definitely a must need. Okay, so lastly, the last two things are the most expensive things. So this next thing, it was gifted to me by my brother. He was so sweet and he knew that Olive needed a computer. So we had intended to get her a new iPad for her virtual learning, but we had found out Chromebooks were, I guess, were the things to get. And so he surprised me on my birthday and got her a full iPad uh, or her full Chromebook. Um, I don't know how you can get like half a Chromebook. I don't know why I said full, but a Chromebook, um, a mouse, and a little case. She's already decorated it with her Elsa stickers that he also got her. Um, and she's been working on her hand-eye coordination with the mouse. That is her biggest thing. She has the best fine motor skills in reality, like with art, coloring, uh, creating, snapping, building, whatever. She's super great with her little fingers. But for whatever reason, the like gap between reality and technology to be able to move the mouse where she needs to go is where she really struggles. So my husband has been working with her a lot um, on trying to build her skills for that for school. And with like ABC Mouse, they have tutorials and stuff like that for that. Um, I don't know how much she'll need to do for that because I don't know what it'll look like. But we wanted to really build and work with her on that. So she has her own Chromebook, um, which she is by, beside herself about. Um, and lastly, we got desks. So Olive has been wanting a desk for so long. She's been begging um, me to have a, get a her a desk for her room, but there's no space. But then when we decided that we were gonna virtual learn and we were gonna do um, a classroom at my mom's house, we decided to do get desks. They don't know yet. It's gonna be a big surprise and she's gonna freak out. We found um, two desks on Walmart, but you can buy these style desks all over. Um, check Facebook Marketplace if you're looking for a bargain. Um, and we got two pink ones because we knew that's what they want. Um, but they're really cool. They're a way you can like elevate them. They have a holder stand for iPads. They have, it's just really, really cool. And we thought these work the best for them. So we have two desks. I have no idea how I'm gonna set up the classroom yet with them but that was probably the most expensive item. Um, but we know that they can use them long-term and were a good investment just like the computer was, but that was a gift for us. So that is it. So the next, the next video, I will, like I said, I'm gonna include the other like little bits of school supplies that I got before this, but the next video will be my whole decorating the classroom, getting it all ready, showing you, giving a tour, and the big reveal for the girls. So if you're interested in that video, keep your eye out um, and it'll come, of course, like. If you want any of these items, I will have everything linked below that I can find online. Of course, all my Amazon things, but any of the Target Walmart stuff, I may not be able to find. But anything else though, I will have everything linked below so you can shop it um, and keep an eye out for my big classroom reveal video as well as the back to school haul for those of you who just like the basic, numb, fluffy stuff. I guess that's more of the fluff. 
I don't know. And those of you may who not be virtual learning or whatnot. Um, but I know a lot of you guys asked, I did post on my Instagram about my virtual learning stuff and a lot of you asked for this video. So I hope this met your expectations and you are just as excited as I am. Please let me know below if your little kiddos are going back or if you're gonna start homeschooling or virtual learning starting preschool pre-k what are your plans for this next school year i would love to know what you guys are doing um, and any good tips you have for me so thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye guys